Um, so when I first started writing this, I actually came up with the moving triplet part first and then wrote the melody on top of this and filled in the other parts from there. I wanted to come up with something that was gentle enough that people could listen to it, but also interesting and passionate enough that people would enjoy it at the same time. Dynamic-wise, you've got fort fortissimo here and you've got MPs and MFs, so you're thinking about and the MP there, mm -hmm. the gradient, what, what's here? Is it, are they, because it's a new thing, mm -hmm. I would be tempted by a new dynamic. Okay. Being able to get constant response to my work was really useful. I got the initial response uh, from the members of the orchestra that was really beneficial and they talked about notating it in a way that was clear enough that the musicians would instantly be able to understand it um, so that the rehearsal process didn't take too long. Oh, I then le later met with Andrew Toovey who gave me like the best advice on my piece that I could have possibly got. Especially as you're thinking about this breath thing. Mm -hmm. um, I had to think about that for a second, mm -hmm. and I know yeah. my bottom aim is never make your performers think. Yeah. They just yeah. have to do stuff that they know and that yeah. they, they yeah. totally get. And if you're making them think, it's for a really, really specific reason. Andrew gave me a lot of really helpful advice on how to notate my piece, particularly on how to notate specifically for string instruments. He recommended that I get some string players at school to play through their parts so that they could help with bowing techniques and things like that. So I've got Max and Rosanna to thank for playing through their parts and in particular Stella for answering all my questions on how to write down what I envisioned. So you're, what do you come down to here? Oh, uh, to nothing. Is that, is that got the, yes, oh, it's got yeah. the only entry on it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's perfect. perfect. Um, but I need to add in, I haven't added in. Oh, what's on there? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Being a tuba player writing for string instruments was actually really difficult to do, uh, mostly because I underestimated how different the writing styles were. I'm used to having upwards of 30 bars rest at a time, and I didn't. it didn't really occur to me that this wasn't a thing that string players had. So rewriting parts, adding in cues and changing the time signatures made sure that the parts were as simple as possible for the players to play. I mean, I think if you've got MFs here, mm -hmm. I'd be tempted by maybe forte, because you want a bit yeah, of a thing, yeah. and then maybe bring that up to... Mm -hmm. I think if this is pizzicato, then it should probably be forte. Yes, well. yes, there we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I found myself really uninspired when it came to actually titling the piece. I knew that I wanted it to have something to do with water, because that was what I envisioned when I was writing it, but apart from that, I really had no idea. The name of the piece actually came from two of my friends, um, one of my friends said that the piece sounded really dance-like and two of my other friends are both French and one suggested that I write the title in French in his honour, which actually worked really well. Yeah, I might have to go <laughs> through and change the, um, the dynamics all the way through then. Yeah. It's just one I mean, difference. oddly enough, that, that sound quite deep. What you'll get is a very nice resonance okay. from it, even yeah. so. So um, it's not going to kill it if you... If you you know, one of them slips through. It's been such a brilliant experience to write music in this way. I wouldn't have ever thought to write for string orchestra before, um, but I'm really glad this pushed me to do it and I would definitely do it again. It's also been brilliant to have this level of advice on my composition from Andrew as well as my teachers at school, Mr Bick and Miss Perry, who've really helped me along with the process.